Welcome everybody to another exciting episode. What time is it? It is Adventure Time on Nintendo DS, so let's check it out. Okay, so here is a fantastic game. Adventure Time, Hey Ice King, Why Did You Steal Our Garbage? Now, I really like this game a lot. If you guys are fans of the Nintendo NES game Legend of Zelda Adventure of Link, well, you'll feel right at home with this game because it plays a lot like it. It's the uh, top-down screen where you see yourself from above walking around the world. And then you go into the side-scrolling thing, leveling up. You don't really level up, but you do collect items, so it's really fantastic. It's a way forward game. Now, the interesting thing was, is this came out in uh, Mar or was it November 20th of 2012. Now, the Nintendo 3DS, I believe, came out in uh, 2011, March 25th, 2011. So it basically came out a year after on the Nintendo DS of the uh, 3DS launch. So a lot of people missed this game, and it did eventually come to the Nintendo 3DS, but it didn't come out till 2013. I believe when it came out to the 3DS, the differences between the DS version and the 3DS version is uh, more better audio and also uh, polished graphics, a little better graphics, but same gameplay, everything. But it's a fantastic game on the DS and definitely worth picking up. And the interesting or cool thing is there was a, also a collector's edition for both systems. So that is really cool, and the uh, collector's edition came with a it came with a steel case cover, with the uh, hero's handbook, uh, was it a poster of Ooh, a book called uh, or the Book of Beasts, and a stylus designed after Finn Sword. So if you're a fan of the cartoon, there's a lot of uh, even if you're not a fan of the cartoon, there's a lot of funny humor in here. I think you you would like it. Especially if you're like me and grew up in the 80s, you would find a lot of cool references, funny, funny little jokes and things in the, in the cartoon. As you see, it's really cool. You go around, you're collecting, uh, you're fighting on this side-scrolling thing. I'm looking for actually Finn's sword right now. The storyline is, before I get too in-depth in it, is uh, the Ice King has stolen your garbage. He's stealing the garbage from the whole kingdom. Because he's going to build a trash princess, a garbage princess. So, of course, you guys want your garbage back and you want to stop him. So, funny little storyline. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So, I'm right now, like I said, I'm going around looking for clues and eventually to find Finn's sword. Oh, here's the hot dog princess. It's got these little cool cameos of all the characters. And so, it's a lot of fun. And like I said, this game came out so late, basically the end of the, the, the DS. You can see the graphics are really polished. The gameplay is fantastic. I would probably give it, I was rating it a score out of 10. Uh, 8.5, maybe 9. 9 probably because I'm a fan. But if I wasn't a fan, maybe an 8, solid 8. But I'm a fan of it, so I'll give it a 9. <laughs> because of the humor and funny things in it. I like fighting these things. The only thing I have trouble with is the little rabbits with little poles strapped to their head. Worms aren't too hard. As you can see, it's a lot of fun. This is a way forward game. And it came out, like I said, on 3DS in 2013. I'm not sure exactly when, but I definitely like it enough that eventually I'd like to hunt down one of the collector's editions on either system. Maybe the 3DS since I have the DS one. And then uh, definitely see what the differences are. If you guys have it already, and you've had both, uh, maybe you can tell me what the exact differences are between both. From what I've read, it just said there was uh, more audio samples, more voices, and a little bit better graphics. But as you see, the graphics look fantastic even on the DS, so definitely worth checking out if you guys can find it. Uh, it probably shouldn't be too expensive, I'd imagine. And it, it really captures the cartoon really well. The spirit of the cartoon and also Legend of Zelda. Uh, the two Adventure of Link, they, 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 they mash it together and it works perfectly for the game. So hopefully I can find Finn's sword. That's what I'm looking for. I'm lost a little bit. 
I don't have a key for this, so I don't think I do. No. Well, that's the problem where I'm having is that I'm looking for Finn Sword. I may have to look it up. But WayForward Technologies have done a fantastic job of capturing the uh, cartoon magic really well and designed a really well thought out, fun, good graphical uh, game. It's definitely worth picking up. And you get to walk on the world with you and Jake. And then he rides in your backpack because he wants you to carry him everywhere in battle time. You can see definitely if you played Legend of Zelda 2, you'd, you'd, you'd feel right at home with this game because it plays exactly like it. It's a more advanced version with uh, better graphics, of course. And you get all these cool little items and store it on your second screen. And you can use like stuff like food and stuff to get health. And there's other items to give you little power-ups and things like that. A very cool game definitely worth picking up I might I'm just gonna let it play now out and let you guys I'll shut up for a little bit and let you guys look at it So as you can see, it's definitely a fun game worth picking up. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. Take care, everybody. Thank you. What we have here is the Lay's Potato Chips 1986 Masters of the Universe Calendar. By the power of Grayskull, I have the calendar!